very much. And good morning. First of all, I would like to congratulate the, monit uh, the moderators for starting the session on time. Great. Uh, how do I move this slide? Press the next one. This one. Thank you very much. So I don't have a conflict of interest. The first caveat is we don't know adequate about, uh, adequately about this condition. And we presume that we know a lot about this condition. The first thing uh, which I have learned is I've now given, I've now come to a conclusion that uh, we need to give a lot of respect to this organism uh, because it selectively causes uh, serious problems and it chooses it chooses its time and it chooses uh, its methods of destruction so that's the fundamental thing uh, I would like to address in this session so there are instances this is one case starting from top left a seemingly a big ulcer uh, coming uh, to a reasonably uh, good uh, finality and this is a small ulcer which started off as a small ulcer ending up in perforation and this is what I was just alluding to that we need to be very very uh, careful about dealing with this organism so what I thought was in this five minutes which I'm going to speak I'll be actually talking just on one aspect of the whole, uh, thing which I think uh, I have personally learned in this uh, condition is this slide when you actually uh, I like this slide very much because we tend to treat everything like fungus we tend to treat something like bacteria the fundamental thing to understand is in the same genera the virulence factor is completely different uh, the virulence factor of Mahatma Gandhi to Adolf Hitler is completely different and it doesn't make sense for us to treat everybody the same way. That is the fundamental concept I really want to uh, address uh, in, in today's session. I'll just give you some examples of this. So this is Fusarium on the left and this is Aspergillus on the right and at this point of time we tend to treat uh, both of it in the same manner. The growth, the microscopic features and the scanning electron uh, microscopic images. Completely different. It doesn't, uh, it, it looks similar in certain identification factors, but when you allow them to grow as they would in the cornea, and that is the fundamental difference. If you allow them to grow in the cornea, they have a unique, uh, distinct mechanism of how it causes a disease. And this is a work which we did with Pasteur Institute in Paris because they were interested in uh, aspergillus flavors, uh, aspergillus fumigators because it causes a problem in the lungs and we wanted to know why selectively aspergillus flavors cause a disease in the cornea, while aspergillus fumigators cause a disease in the lung. And you can see there is a fundamental difference in the rodlet layer. Why is this important? Because this is what provokes the host immune mechanism to cause a disease. And so within aspergillus, you can have a, a different surface uh, thing which will actually induce the human mechanism, human immune mechanism to behave differently. We also know that there is definitely a difference between the clinical response to aspergillus ulcers, uh, to fusarium ulcers. Aspergillus ulcers are comparatively more, uh, have a uh, more uh, uh, poor pro uh, prognosis as, as compared to fusarium ulcers and that is because of the differential response to natamycin where Fusarium uh, responds much better to natamycin. And the same thing was also reflected uh, in the microbiology setup to know that there is a difference basically fundamentally between Fusarium and Aspergillus. But what was more interesting is this thing which I'm going to talk in the next two slides. 80% of the mud sequenced Fusarium isolates were Solani but what we found out was when it is caused by Fusarium solani as opposed to other Fusarium, Fusarium solani is causing more of corneal opacity. It excites the human system much more than, than the other parts of uh, Fusarium. 
So this is just uh, the same uh, much sequences. If, and you know that uh, once it's more pigmented, it's supposed to be more virulent. And here is the spectrum of uh, Fusarium uh, Solani uh, causing different uh, pigmentations in, in, in whole this thing. So within the Fusarium, there, is, there are multitudes of uh, uh, acts of virulence there. Now that is one part. So we have multiple uh, variations in the organisms between Aspergillus and Fusarium, within Aspergillus, within Fusarium. So that is the fundamental uh, difference I want to sell it across. What happens to the host response? So this is uh, the thing which we published in 2019, where we said zinc alpha glycoprotein, which is, a, which is an immune marker of the host immune response from the tears, there is a difference in the zinc alpha uh, uh, response, the zag response between a flavus infection and a fusarium infection. Uh, we thought it could be a marker, but to be very frank, it doesn't work that simple. But the fundamental difference to understand is there is a difference in the immune response to a fusarium versus uh, an aspergillus at the tier level, uh, at the protein level as such. So these are my last two slides. What do I foresee something happening, especially in a fungal uh, disease? In the retina, as uh, most of us who started uh, practice in the 80s would understand, it was all about light. It was all about photocoagulation. Then the fundamental shift from photocoagulation to drugs. So this is what is going to happen possibly in the surface uh, of surface aspects of, of, uh, of uh, fungal infection where it's just going to be reverse of what is uh, happening uh, in the retina. We wouldn't have dreamt that lasers might not be used as much as what we uh, used. But then this is what probably is going to happen with regard to the uh, surface uh, disease of the, uh, of the fungal. But the deeper disease, it's going to be a different ball game. And at this point of time, we are actually concentrating on killing the organism and trying to say that we are controlling the disease. But the future, the game will be at this place and not at just killing the uh, fungus and thinking that we have conquered the disease. So uh, the fundamental message I want to say is the fungi are not as simplistic as they seem in a KOH mount.